Welcome back to Wrestling Flash. In this WWE and all things wrestling video we are going to look at. Austin Theory gets an odd name change thanks to Vince McMahon. The best and worst of Raw. Roman Reigns destroyed after Raw. And WWE confirms The Rock vs. Roman Reigns. First let's look at Best and Worst of Raw. It was an interesting episode of Raw the second edition post-WrestleMania. There was a lot to look forward to, but unfortunately, the show didn't live up to fans' expectations. Perhaps there was a bit too much expectation but not having a world champion on Raw is affecting the show negatively. But that wasn't the only issue. Here were the ups and downs of a rather underwhelming episode this week. Number 3. Best, MVP and Bobby Lashley's Story A new feud has begun as MVP has aligned with Omos in favor of Bobby Lashley. While Lashley may have gotten the better of him on the first occasion at WrestleMania, they look to be set for another collision at WrestleMania Backlash. This time, MVP has aligned with Omos and Lashley as the babyface who is well-loved by fans. The shift in dynamic was well-timed, and WWE pulled the trigger on MVP's turn when the time was right. The promo battle was one of the highlights of Raw this week and built a good level of anticipation for the upcoming rematch. Number 2. Worst, Liv Morgan suffers another defeat. Naomi appeared on Raw this week to face Liv Morgan. While the WWE Women's Tag Team titles were supposed to be defended, it wasn't and the match was postponed to a week later. The only reason why is presumably a minor injury to Rhea Ripley. Either way, Morgan suffered yet another defeat on Raw as she lost to Naomi. It's unfortunate that only earlier this year, she was one of the hottest female superstars in WWE, and now she has taken a dip again. Number 2. Best, the twist with Sonya Deville and the Raw Women's Champion. Sonya Deville's abuse of authority got tiring with Naomi but it has a fresh angle now. Bianca Belair was supposed to find out who her next challenger was, and even signed a contract in advance. However, when DeVille played the drum roll and the moment of anticipation came, it was the authority figure who attacked Belair from behind. She would announce herself as the next in line for the Raw Women's title and sign the contract. Although it gave Bianca Belair a bad look, it was a nice way to reintroduce Sonya Deville, especially into the title picture. Number 1. Worst, the random finish of AJ Styles vs. Damian Priest. AJ Styles took on Damian Priest in a rematch from February on Raw. It should have been a crucial bout that furthered the storyline with Edge. Instead, there was an inconclusive finish as the lights went off, and Priest stood in the center of the ring frantically smiling while Styles disappeared backstage. He did an interview a minute later, which made it all the more confusing. Why not simply go back to the ring? It was clearly a move to protect both superstars, but it wasn't well executed at all. Number 1. Best, the Cody Rhodes Miss Segment and Match Cody Rhodes was in the first segment of Raw again as he appeared on Miss TV. Rhodes said years ago that The Miz works just as hard as John Cena without getting the same credit for it. You could see that internally, both men have immense respect for each other. However, they did brilliantly to portray the opposite on TV. It led to a tense segment between two strong characters and also Cody Rhodes' first match on the red brand in over six years. The match was a good one too, and the feud with Seth Rollins is intriguing now that the first match is done. The American Nightmare continues to impress nine days after his WWE return. Austin Theory gets an odd name change thanks to Vince McMahon. Raw superstar Austin Theory goes through a name change on the latest episode of the show. Theory is one of the youngest prospects in WWE today. Nobody on the main roster has been given the spotlight at his age more than the 24-year-old. Even Vince McMahon declared him as a future world champion at WrestleMania 38. Austin Theory went into Adam Pearce and Sonya Deville's office on Raw and declared a name change ordered by Vince McMahon. In recent WWE history, a lot of name changes have happened, apart from the random ones such as Walter to Gunther, Pete Dunne to Butch, and Piper Niven to Dowdrop. There was a trend of shortening superstars' names. Mustafa Ali, for example, was simply Ali until WWE brought his name back. On the latest episode of Raw, Austin Theory went into the office of Adam Pearce and Sonya Deville. When they used his name, he informed them that going forward he will only be going by the name of Theory and not Austin Theory. He said that it was a decision that he and Vince McMahon both agreed on. During his visit to the office, he also asked for a United States Championship shot against Finn Balor which was made official for next week on Raw. With Theory getting a US title opportunity against Finn Balor, it will be interesting to see how things play out. He recently got the better of the US champion in a six-man tag team match by pinning him, but Balor holds a singles victory over the 24-year-old. Theory was a part of one of the most entertaining WrestleMania 38 matches against Pat McAfee, where he came out on the losing end. However, a United States title push seems to be in line with the spotlight that he has gotten in 2022. Given that Vince McMahon has personally returned on screen to mentor, Theory says volumes about what he thinks of him. Do you think Theory will be the next United States champion? Let us know in the comments section below. Roman Reigns destroyed after Raw went off the air. Roman Reigns and the Bloodline lost a six-man tag team match after WWE Raw went off the air. 
Reigns recently defeated Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 38 to become the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. On last week's WWE SmackDown, Nakamura emerged as Reigns' next opponent. The Tribal Chief was present on tonight's edition of WWE Raw as well. After the show went off the air, he teamed up with the Usos to take on Drew McIntyre. Kofi Kingston, and Xavier Woods. In the end, McIntyre hit a Claymore kick on one of the Usos to pick up a big win for his team. At one point during the match, Heyman got upset over some fans jeering at him, and Reigns consoled him in an amusing moment. Fans may be aware that Heyman has recreated this moment in various dark matches. As we mentioned earlier, the Tribal Chief unified the WWE title and the Universal title with his big victory over Brock Lesnar at the Show of Shows. On last week's episode of SmackDown, Reigns urged the Usos to unify the Raw and SmackDown tag team titles. The Red Brand's titles currently belong to Randy Orton and Riddle who successfully retained them at WrestleMania 38. On tonight's Raw, the Usos challenged RK-Bro to a tag team title unification match but were interrupted by the Street Profits. This led to a match between the Usos and the Street Profit, which the former won. The three teams began brawling after the match. When all was said and done, the Usos stood tall over Orton with the Raw and SmackDown tag team titles in their hands. As for Drew McIntyre, the Scottish warrior has beaten Reigns in a series of multi-man dark matches over the past few months. However, he has failed to defeat the unified champion in the singles competition. McIntyre is one of the biggest threats to Roman Reigns' unified WWE Universal title reign. It won't be a surprise if WWE ends up booking this feud soon. Are you enjoying Roman Reigns' dominant run as WWE's top champion, who will be the one to finally dethrone the tribal chief? Share your predictions below. WWE confirms Roman Reigns vs. The Rock A huge never-before-seen match between Roman Reigns and The Rock was teased on the final episode of WWE Evil. WWE Evil is an original series on Peacock produced by Vince McMahon and Kevin Dunn. It looks into the minds of the biggest heels in WWE history and attempts to find the motivations behind their decisions to embrace their dark side. The final installment of the eight-episode series focused on current WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns. The Tribal Chief turned heel at SummerSlam 2020 and has ruled the promotion ever since. During the episode's final moments, WWE heavily teased a future match between Reigns and his cousin, WWE icon The Rock. TV, radio show host Peter Rosenberg pointed out that no one can touch the latter when it comes to being the greatest Samoan wrestler in history. The clip followed these comments, in which Reigns talked about wanting to face The Rock. Broadcast journalist Evan T. Mack then mentioned how no one would be able to deny Reigns as the greatest villain ever if he beats The Rock. We must note that this is all speculation. Nothing has been confirmed by either the champion or the promotion. Over the past few years, there has been a significant buzz about a possible WrestleMania match between Reigns and The Rock. The two megastars have never faced each other in a WWE ring. The Rock is quite possibly the greatest entertainer to ever step foot in the squared circle. On the other hand, Reigns is hands down the biggest heel of this generation. Rumors have come up in the past about a potential match between the two cousins at WrestleMania. Here's what Dave Meltzer said about the same earlier this year. The situation with The Rock is exactly what you'd think. The belief is Rock wants to do it. They believe it is the probable main event but they are all very aware that there are things that can get in the way and it could not happen. The working idea is that match for Roman Reigns against The Rock for Los Angeles. It is absolutely not etched in stone by any means. That's been the idea for months and months and months. There's no question that a match pitting these two men will headline WrestleMania if it ever happens. It remains to be seen if The Rock's busy Hollywood schedule will allow him to have one final match on the grandest stage of them all.